Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your love reading for the week of September 25th through October 1st. This may or may not resonate with for you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. We're going to see what comes up for the sign of Cancer. I have pre-shuffled those four decks. Just gonna zoom that in. Wow, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Holy moly! <laughs> okay. So the center of your reading, the basis of this reading, is the Ace of Swords. That is a raw truth handed to you from God or your higher power. Some truth is about to come out this week, if it hasn't come out already. If it's not this week, I mean, the, the, time, the dates are fluid. It could be in the very near future, okay? So some truth is going to come out, but the thing is, is I think you already know what this is. We have the High Priestess here, and we have you, which is the Chariot, which represents Cancer. I th and this is a lot of worry, a lot of despair, a lot of depression over something. You know what this secret is that's all there is to it you know it you've known it and you've just been waiting for it to come out all right um i think it's been things have been a little chaotic perhaps a little disorganized somebody could have a choice between two people um i think that there is may have been there may be some addictions or overindulgences here with the temperance card and the devil card we have the three of pentacle or three of wands which is about your ships finally coming in and you've been waiting for it this is your expectations perhaps somebody didn't meet the expectations that you thought could be a um, could be a Scorpio Pisces or a cancer perhaps they didn't meet the expectations that you thought or you didn't meet theirs it can go either way this is the three of pentacles that this tells me that you know perhaps you receive some communication from from them or from somebody else regarding this person that there is another person that they have another person um, this could also be that one of your expectations was that you were going to be working together as a team on everything and that just did not happen okay perhaps they overindulge too much and they don't give their part or they don't give their it's not an equal relationship you know and it does i mean if somebody could be moving it looks like either you or the other person could be moving they could be moving out or somebody could be moving in with you i see that your home your establishment there's a change in your home life so either somebody's moving out or somebody's moving in or you're moving all together there's definitely some moving here um, there's some travel as well so I'm not sure if you're traveling it doesn't have to be a long way it can be but I do see some traveling this week or making plans for travel um, it looks like your your ultimate wish is happiness okay and it, it looks like there's just been too many conflicts and too much tension and things you know are probably um, and there might be some manipulation it looks like somebody, there's definitely um, some conflicts this week and some anxiety over something, some depression. Okay, let's get the next deck. There's an ending as well with the Ten of Swords. There's, there's been a lot of disappointment. Okay, and so with that Ten of Swords right next to that Ace of Swords, 
whatever this disappointment is, it looks like you've hit rock bottom, okay? And like I said, this energy timeline is fluid. This could have already happened or, or it could happen this week or the seeds could be planted this week for it to happen next or the week after, you know, soon, soon, okay? So either way, this is an ending, okay? It is. It's like the death of something. It is the ending. It's, the, it's when somebody has hit rock bottom, you know, but they learn the truth of the situation and they can only go up from here and luckily we have the world card. When the world card comes out, it's a major new beginning. Now you have this, this is, you know, you can only go up from here. This is a completion, okay? So this is a completion and this is a completion. So you have a major new beginning right ahead of you, a new chapter. You've reached a finish line and it could be within a relationship with a Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, and um, this right here is the truth, okay? You're going to receive some raw truth about this person. Now, if it isn't that person, then it's somebody who has that, has uh, a lot of those water elements in their chart, okay? Um, but it is going to, it is going to, um, push you into a new chapter of your life, okay? Because you're going to be mastering your emotions when you receive this truth. I think you're going to handle it with tact. You know exactly how to handle it because you knew this was coming. Your intuition is right on, okay? Um, like I said, I pre-shuffled these decks, so I'm going to go with this. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. This, somebody's moving. Either you're moving or somebody, so your home life is changing. It looks like it's becoming more peaceful to me or you want it to become more peaceful. This is your awareness. Like I said, you're very intuitive. The Ten of Swords again because we needed to have it twice. This one and this one. Something has ended that was emotionally bringing you down. It was like making you feel very, very hurt and depressed and sad. And it was literally killing you as far as stressfully goes, okay? It was overcoming your emotions, okay? And, and when that happens, when you hit that spot where it's like the severe depression, okay, then you, there's no place to go but up. When you've hit rock bottom, there's no place to go with up. You have all the necessary tools to go back up. You do. You have the skills. You have earned them. It's not like this is the your first uh, rodeo, okay? It's not like you haven't been through this before. So you have the skills. You have the tools. You know what this is. You saw it coming, and now you just have to pick yourself back up. That's all there is to it, okay? Perhaps, you know, there, was, there wasn't enough teamwork between you and the other person. There wasn't, that somebody wasn't um, putting in the, the right amount of energy, giving the energy to the relationship, all right? And it has affected the happiness because you, were, you had expectations, you had higher expectations for, for this person. You know, for this relationship. All right. So definitely there, this has something to do with your home and your commitment. It looks like you're about to start a new chapter. Okay. It looks like one thing is, is over and that a new chapter is right around the corner where you could actually have a loving, loyal commitment. It's right around the corner. This is the outcome, okay? The world in the Four of Wands. The raw truth right here. The raw truth that usually hurts, okay, with this Ace of Swords is the basis of your reading. You're, it's, you know, that's what it is. We're going to see what we can get with these Romance Angel cards, Cancer. I just think somebody hasn't been, you know, being a... It hasn't been an equal 
an equal relationship in, by any means. And it has just about killed you emotionally. You know, it's really caused some serious depression and hurt and anxiety and just despair. But you have the tools inside you. You've done this before. You can do it. You can bring the peace back. And I think that you're going to. You might be going through a period of, I'm going to escape this for a little while. So what do you got? You know, I got to escape this. You might. You know, because you have this temperance here. This is when things need to be done in moderation. Or maybe the other person had addictions. Or you have addictions. Somebody did. Which affected their relationship. I see that you're just looking for peace. Okay. And there's all kinds of addictions. Okay, food's an addiction. Um, chocolate's an addiction. Alcohol, drugs, sex. I mean, I could keep going, but there's no need. Wedding. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, when the wedding card comes out, it doesn't mean an actual wedding. It can. It means perhaps this is somebody that you're married to. Perhaps um, the person that you're with is already, or that you're interested in is already married. Or you want to get married and the other person doesn't. Or the other person wants to get married and you don't. Or if you're completely single, you might meet somebody at a wedding. This can mean so much. Okay? So take it however it uh, fits into your life. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That is manifestation. You have to make a, you have to do something about this. You have to make a choice. You have to clearly decide what you want. You have been in a complete depressive mood, like totally hit rock bottom. Like, oh my God, I'm I I don't know how much more I can take. I'm I don't know, you know. So you need to make a move. There's no doubt about it. And that is clearly deciding what you want. When you clearly decide what you want, the next thing can come. Trust. That's a scary one, isn't it? The situation is calling for you to have faith and trust in yourself. Because underneath it is the magician. In your abilities to get through this with your head held high. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the keep the relationship going. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Like I said, I think there's a third party situation. Perhaps you or the other person is interested in somebody else. And if I didn't say it, I was thinking it. I might not have said it. But I was thinking it in my head. There was a third party situation with somebody. You know, but I have to be careful what I say, so I wait for the right moment. I'm not sure if I said it or not, but I was definitely thinking it. So somebody, you know, could have, because we have both these cards together, it's a contradiction. There, with one person, there's no more. It's done. It's over. You can see with the Ten of Swords, there's two of them in that unrequited love. It's over. But with somebody else, there's a lot of chemistry. So there is. It's either you and somebody else or your current partner and somebody else. And you know it. Your intuition is dead on. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You matter. That's what this card says. Your feelings are real. Everything that you're feeling, the feelings of hurt, the feelings of despair, the feelings of depression, the feelings of love, the feelings of chemistry, the feelings of not being in love, whatever it is, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Now we're getting one of my Whispers of Love cards. We're going to see what comes up.
Oh my goodness. I'm going to zoom that in. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Feelings and emotions are part of who you are. Allow yourself to feel what is going on for you. Your feelings signal, your feelings signal you to the truth of a situation. Take positive steps to determine why you are feeling the way that you feel. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. They're real. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They are. They are. I read this card. But your feelings are real. Do not deny them, please. What I was saying is, when I just read out of the book, I read this card. Earlier, we were talking about this card. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. No doubt about it. Do not deny them. Don't push them down and ignore them. This card came out afterwards. I'm, I mean, I'm telling you what, that is your message. Talk to you later, Cancer. Thanks for watching.